In my last video, we talked about this clip right here on the screen. <laughs> Chaotic and Lil Scrappy believes Keisha Cole and Huncho relationship is paid for by their label, just like Ruby, Rose, and Drewski. If you guys missed it, here it is. Did y'all see my baby Ruby Rose with Drewski? I heard about it when I landed. I heard about it. Do y'all pick a side? Do you think it's real or fake? I fake. think it's real. I think, I think it's, it's real. I hope it's I fake. It's fake. I hope it's fake. I, I, I think it's. I love. No, no. I think, <laughs> I think it's real, like um the stimulus package that Black China had. Damn. What she had? When she would date rappers, she would the label would pay for it. Drew like, ain't got a. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, okay. So that's 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 cross marketing. So that's so that's that's Keisha Cole. Yes, and Huncho. And Huncho. Right? <laughs> so Keisha Cole probably right? did pay Huncho. The actual person don't do it, the label do the it. The label do yeah. it. Cause they done did that with me back in the day. I had to walk but, around. Wait a minute, why Keisha Cole? Who they do? Uh, with who? No, it was this new girl on uh, Warner Brothers when I was over there. And they and paid you to walk around with her? Yeah, they paid to me to give her popularity. They, I, we did a song, did a video, See? they paid me to... I did that before What's her name, know? yo? If y'all watched my last video, y'all already seen that. But as you can see, Scrappy is the one that brought up Keisha's name. And if you go to Keisha's Twitter, she did not appreciate that. Um, somebody said, you're not a true Keisha Cole fan. If you think she would pay, oh, she would be paid to have a relationship with anyone. You couldn't pay her to be fake. The blog's lying again. Keisha retweeted that and said, and what hurts the most is Scrappy saying that stuff. Nah, Ninja, you get paid to fake a relationship like you said. Like, what are you... What are they even talking about? Trying to get clicks. Hopefully this helps. Then right here, somebody said, why I hurt Keisha? How long homie was on Love and Hip Hop? About a relationship, no music involved. She responded and said, cause my mama was cool with his mom. It's always been love, but for him to allow such craziness is beyond me. People be weird. Now on to Lil TJ and Future's BM Britney. It says that Britney slams rumors of her dating rapper Lil TJ because it looked like they posted the same private jet. He said, let's be clear, because y'all blogs love a made-up story. Let me clear this up immediately. <laughs> TJ is like my little brother. Dang near her son's age. Y'all are reaching to think it's given dating. Do y'all know how old I am? Absolutely nothing like that at all is what she said, okay? It's a lot of people around to try and single me out for some clicks. It's crazy. When I pop out, y'all won't have to piece nothing together. Now, this is her pulling up to the jet. You guys can keep Texas. We need you on this case. I might have to post this side by side on my YouTube community to see if this is the same jet. Camera, action, movie. Oh, my God. Okay, looks like, okay, she put no boys allowed. This is kind of hard. This is kind of hard. I can't tell. I need you guys help. In the comments, they, they don't believe her though, in the comments. These cougars getting out of hand, that's a child. Everybody over 30 isn't desperate. She ate with that when I pop out, y'all won't have to piece nothing together. So I'm older than her and I date younger men. She didn't say that he wasn't there. She said it's other ladies there and y'all putting them together. Girl, the pilot and the flight attendant looks the same to me in both videos. You got caught. It's okay. You like, <laughs> you like you a little boy. So next topic is going to be Jay Cinco. He is back on YouTube. He talks about his mental health after losing his cousin. Like, this is just showing me like you know life is not like you don't have forever you feel me that's how i'm kind of looking at it. like you don't got forever like you gotta kind of hurry this process up as far as like getting to get on your shit you feel me because when i was living in Compton, i had all this money i had you know cloud had all this shit but i wasn't like let me move let me you know so I, was, I was very comfortable so i feel like right now it just happened because i'm very i, I am very comfortable like i am honestly like i'm just cool and like and i shouldn't be cool and i gotta work and, and put myself in a position where Everybody can eat, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I'm trying to <clears throat> work towards right now. You know, damn, I just talked that year off for six minutes. But yeah, um, that's just what it, where a nigga been at with, with it mentally, you know, for me. Um, I've been staying off Instagram for real. First day was pretty hard because I just wanted to post, like, you know, pour my heart out, but realize, like, man, that's my business page. Like, I don't really need to be on there expressing how I feel. And 
giving other people the opportunity to take gratitude in like like in what they did at such a low time in my life like I shouldn't even give no one the enjoyment of, see, of seeing me sad you feel me so that's kind of what I've been on so he also talked about his posting schedule because you know he took a few days off of YouTube so he was probably able to clear his mind and he wants to do YouTube and have time for his music so this is his schedule if you guys support him grab a pen and a paper and write it down I want to start doing Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturdays that's kind of what I want to do Mondays Wednesdays Fridays Saturdays yeah so we're really just taking what Tuesday <clears throat> Monday Wednesday so we only take we taking Tuesday Thursday and Sundays off but Tuesday and Thursdays I want to work on my music I'm saying those are the days I want to dedicate. Like, all right, I'm shooting a video. Let me just go shoot a video. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna start prioritizing stuff because I feel like I really could do it. I just be underestimating myself. And y'all, let me know what y'all think about all the topics we talked about today. And I'll see y'all in the next video.